Let's look at how to program a J Dilla style boom bap hip hop beat using Dope VST's Beat Machine CM and a MIDI keyboard. By playing our beat into the door for further editing rather than programming it directly on the grid, we can create a drum break with a live, swung MPC style groove. Open your door and set the BPM to 95. Let's choose a great drum kit for our beat. Add Beat Machine CM and turn its output down to minus 6 dB. Next, click on the preset selector, top centre, to open the drum kit menu. Try cycling through the presets using notes C1 to F1 on your MIDI keyboard to audition the different kits. We've gone for the Hood Theory kit, as it has a solid yet classic sound. Next, recording a solid kick and snare groove. Enable your door's metronome to help keep your playing in time. Now, record on the Beat Machine CM track, hit record, play in a groove using your MIDI controller. If you're struggling to play along with the click, try slowing down the tempo, then upping it again once you're done. We can make our recorded groove a bit more solid by tweaking the positioning and velocity of the notes. First, we'll quantize the snare hits on beats 2 and 4 of each bar, and the first kick drum of every bar. This will give our drum beat a more focused groove without making it sound too straight. Now we've tightened the kicks and snares, the beat sounds a little off in places. Turn your door's grid snapping off and move any offending kick and snare hits manually until playing mistakes are eliminated whilst keeping a live, swung overall feel. After this, adjust the velocity of any hits that are too loud or quiet until the break has a more consistent level. To finish, we'll add a clap layer to embellish our snare. Import clap.wav from the tutorial files folder and place it on beats 2 and 4 of each bar. After this, 
Select the clap samples and turn grid snapping off before dragging them just ahead of the snares to taste. You should hear the clap hitting slightly before the snare, giving the snare a bigger attack. <laughs> 